How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly talk about some of the pros and cons of using VPNs. I mean, yes, using a VPN is, well, very, very helpful um, in a lot of ways. Uh, but there are times when you may not want to use a VPN. And I'll talk about all of that today. Um, now, as far as recommended VPNs, I like to recommend these as the top three VPNs. After having tested over a couple of dozen VPNs, I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs, or if you'd like to just go straight to pricing or discounts, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. But first of all, I want to talk about the pros of using a VPN. Now, obviously, when you're using a VPN, it will encrypt all of your traffic, which makes it harder for anyone to spy on your online activities, steal sensitive data or hack into your accounts, especially if you're on public Wi-Fi. Now, another pro is access to restricted content. Let's say you're in a restrictive country and some content is just uh, censored away from your network, you can connect to a VPN server, which will be encrypted and will give you access to websites and services that may not be available in your country. Another pro is, well, protection from Wi-Fi snooping, because when you connect to Wi-Fi hotspots, your data can be vulnerable to snooping by other users. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for anyone to intercept your data. Another pro is increased anonymity, because by routing your traffic through a VPN server, you can hide your IP address, which makes it much harder for websites and services to track your online activity, and it also minimizes targeted advertising. And the fifth pro for using a VPN for today is the improved online experience by reducing lag, improving speeds, and bypassing ISB throttling. Now, you can reduce lag if you're particularly experiencing terrible lag uh, when you're trying to play games on your ISP servers. You can connect to the VPN server that's closest to your game server in order to hopefully improve uh, ping. And you can improve your speed if the ISP throttles your speed after reaching a specific daily quota, um, because a lot of ISPs do that. They half your uh, speed, if not you know more than half, they decrease it uh, significantly if you reach, let's say, the 20 gigabyte by quota, some ISPs give more, but a lot of ISPs will set a threshold uh, of which when you pass, you'll have very slow speeds. So with a VPN, you can just bypass that altogether. Now, some cons of using a VPN is reduced speed. So the first one is reduced speed because encrypting your traffic and routing it through a VPN can slow down your internet speeds, especially if the server is located far away. Um, another con is possible trust issues. Since VPN providers have access to your internet traffic, it's important to choose a reputable provider that you trust because some providers might collect data on your online activities and sell it to third parties, especially free or unreliable VPNs. And this is exactly why I recommend these three because it's about as safe as it can get when uh, using these VPNs because they do have a very solid strict no locks policy that's also independently audited uh, by third party companies. The third con is just configuration and compatibility issues, because configuring a VPN can be challenging, especially for less technical users, and some devices might not even be compatible with VPNs, in which case you will have to install the VPN on your router, and your router has to be compatible with VPNs, so on and so forth. But of course, I mean, with Express, Nord, and Surfshark, it's as simple as it gets. You can just click the links in the description down below, get yourself a subscription, and then they will email you your credentials or a code as well as the installation link you can click the download link install it and just follow the instructions and you'll have the application and once you have the application just you know select the server and you're good to go and it's as simple as that um, the fourth uh, con is potentially cost because many vpns charge a monthly fee for their services which can add up over time but again if you want to save as much money as possible just go for the uh, longest term plan this will save you a whole lot more money and again you'll find discounts in the description if you want to save even more and of course you do have different price ranges i mean expressvpn has a premium price 
NordVPN offers a whole lot of value and Surfshark is going to be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. And the final con is, well, potential legal issues, because depending on the laws of your country, using a VPN may be frowned upon and you could face potential penalties, especially if you're using a VPN to engage in unlawful activities if it's considered unlawful in your country. So be sure to check your local laws and make sure that everything that you're doing, even when you know, you're connected to the VPN is within the bounds of the law. So that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in very reliable VPNs, I would recommend Express Nord and Surfshark. Express is going to be the best of the best overall. It's what I like to use on a daily basis. It's the most consistent, reliable, and easiest to use. NordVPN is going to be a great, well-rounded option that offers a whole lot of bonus features for a very reasonable price. So it's a great bang for the buck. And again, Surfshark will be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need with a premium VPN. So again, if you guys are interested, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.